hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time now. Don't, don't you click off this, because I know this isn't an older classic. I know this was made in 2016, I do believe. Anyways, I give you a preview review of what I think the movie's going to be about. We watch it together, edited, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and... What the hell do I know? So today, like I said, if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I am watching the 2016, I do believe, yeah, 2016 movie Hidden Figures. My mom actually watched this movie a few months ago and she told me I needed to watch it. And I'm so glad that this movie won the Black History Month poll. So I put up a poll with several different films and the the top two by like a landslide were Hidden Figures and Remember the Titans. Now we've already seen Remember the Titans. I was on the channel for last Monday. I decided to keep it in February because it dealt with football and Super Bowl and it, you know, it just made sense. So we're kicking off March with Hidden Figures and um, I'm really excited about it. I feel like a lot of the people in my real life situation in my, well, in my real life that have watched this said it's a great movie. I know, I don't know. I think my mom said Viola Davis is in this and I really like her stuff. Um, I, I don't know of anybody else who would be in here. So I'm excited to find out what this is about. Hidden figures. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really excited about it regardless. So no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 2016 Hidden Figures. Oh, based on true events. Okay, fun. It's the only school past the eighth grade anywhere near here. Oh, wow. Catherine's in the sixth grade. They want to take her early. She's going to skip grades because she's so smart? I love that for her. They're offering a full scholarship. All you have to do is get there. Wow, that's a huge deal. It's not a lot, but it's enough to help get you settled in. This movie's going to make me cry, isn't it? It's going to make me cry. If the product of two terms is zero, then common sense says at least one of the two terms has to be zero to start with. Is that what common sense says? Because then I ain't got no common sense. Once you've done that, it's pretty straightforward from there. Same, buddy. That's my face exactly. Ooh! Hidden figures, but look at that blue car! I mean, it sucks that it broke down, clearly, but pretty. Catherine? Mary! Somebody start the car! Catherine, quit staring up in his face and turn the damn car over. Stop fixing your makeup and turn the car over. Girls. Oh, no. No crime in a broken down car. No crime being Negro neither. I was gonna say, that's not what we're worried about. Like, no, that's no, we're not worried about the car, we're worried about the times we're in. Not a great place for three y'all be having car trouble. We didn't pick the place, officer. It picked us. Don't start by being sassy, girl. We're just on our way to work at Langley. NASA, sir. NASA? Getting our rockets into space. All three of you? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, officer. I love where this movie is going. I had no idea they hired. What? A few women working in the space program. Women, that's what you thought you were gonna say. Women. Damn Russians are watching us right now. <laughs> Not what I expected him to say. All the time. Those boys are the best we got. I'm sure that. Mm-hmm, absolutely, I agree. Need to bypass the starter. <laughs> She's good at this stuff. Oh, girl, oh, scare me. I could never. All set. Well, hell, at least I can do is give y'all an escort. Oh, nice. Late to work. Oh, no, so we wouldn't want to bother that you. would be wonderful, officer. Thank you so much. What a good day they're having. I mean, other than, like, the car breaking down. Where to begin? Oh, I'll tell you where to begin. 
three Negro women are chasing a white police officer. What a big day y'all are having. Ladies, that there is a God-ordained miracle. Viola's thinking, uh, if we live after this, that's a miracle. Show me. No, exactly. Ah, it's so crazy we put things into space. It's so, don't even get me started. See, I don't know how this stuff works. It's crazy. Uh, it looks like they've achieved at least one orbit, maybe two. Where are we at orbital? We have proven life can be sustained in space. Now we will be first to send a human. A damn dog and a damn mannequin. They put a dog into space? Does that mean the dog died out there? Inaction and indecision. The Russians have a Also, is that Sheldon from Big Bang? The president is demanding an immediate response. No more delay. Alan Shepard, John Glenn, your Uncle Bob, it doesn't matter. Get us up. <laughs> your Uncle Bob. Because now that they can get up there, a bomb will follow. That's what happens to all our good ideas. I imagine theirs too. Where's Whoa, empty room. I need a mathematician. I'll put in another request, sir. Another request? Jesus Christ, we don't have a single person in this entire building that can handle analytic geometry? Not me, I tell you that. Ladies, ladies. Colored computers? Data reduction? Well, you're welcome to join the charmers in magnetoplasma dynamics. Oh, no, ma'am. I don't even know what that word means. Mary. Present. The Mercury 7 prototype has arrived for testing. Mr. Zelensky is requesting you for permanent assignment. Are you serious? Permanent assignment, girl! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Mary. Mary. Keep it inside. I'm sorry. Not a very good job keeping it inside. Permanent or temp? Everything's temporary, Dorothy. True. Even in life. I think I come the whole way down here. Wow. You ain't gotta be a bitch. Yes. Well, the official word is no. They're not assigning a permanent supervisor for the colored group. Oh, wow. We haven't had one since Miss Jansen got sick. It's been almost a year. Things are working just fine as is. Why hire with a pay increase when you don't have to? Get those trajectory caps worked out. We need them for the redstone test. Supervisor responsibilities without the supervisor pay. Girl, you're in a really big room and I'm kind of scared for you if I could be honest with you. Tunnel test, T minus one minute. Tunnel test? I was gonna say, girl, get out of there. What does that even mean? My anxiety is skyrocketing right now. Anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. What's gonna happen in the tunnel? Oh, like wind resistance, which is clearly low. On the posterior side, abutting the retro boosters. Conclusion. You mean she has to have an idea right now? We could consider another fastener other than the bolts. Duct tape. I'm a Negro woman. I'm not gonna entertain the impossible. And I'm a Polish Jew whose parents died in a Nazi prison camp. Oh, good point by that guy. I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. Good point by her. Do not talk to Mr. Harrison unless he talks to you. Oh, well, this is going to be a great boss. They've never had a colored in here before, Catherine. Don't embarrass me. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at you, girl. See last night. I'm sorry, I'm not the. Oh no, that's even worse. Yes, girl. Shoulders back, head held high. You belong there. Mr. Harrison won't warm up to you. Don't expect it. Good talk. Paul, if the heat shield comes off, what do you think happens to our astronaut? Die. Does she handle analytic geometry? Absolutely. And she speaks. What a weird interaction just then. You think you, uh, 
You think you can find me the front end frame for this data using the Gram Fourth Schmidt organization algorithm? Yes, sir. Absolutely. And I'm also going to ask you to check Mr. Stafford's math as well as others on this floor from time to time. I can I can handle that. Out. Sure. But we need some extra eyes. I think that's pretty reasonable given we're putting a human mm -hmm. on top of a missile shooting mm -hmm. into space and it's never been done before. Yeah, they should be asking questions right now. Gonna matter to their wives, to their children. To the country. America's greatest engineering and scientific minds are not gonna have a problem with having their work checked, are they, Paul? Mmm, good job. Let's have an amen, damn it. Amen. 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 Oh. What a boss. I am not excited to get to know him more. Hi. What? My numbers are spot on. Don't be mad at her for your boss making her check your numbers. I'm not going to be able to. Work on what you can read. The rest is classified. You don't have clearance. How are you going to get all this done today, girl? Excuse me. May I ask where the ladies room is? Sorry, I have no idea what your bathroom is. Wow. <laughs> Stay cool, comic collector girl. Where's she going? And with classified information, girl, where are you going? Look at all those pretty cars, though. Oh, she had to run all that way to find her bathroom. Oh, now he's going to be pissy. I'm not ready for how mean this boss is going to be to her. I'm not, I'm not ready for this. Almost. <clears throat> he said by the end of the day. The end of the day around here was yesterday. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, what a bunch of buttheads. Like, y'all realize it's just a coffee thing, right? Y'all are insulted that she used your coffee b machine thingy because she's a black woman? I forget the audacity of this time period. Mr. Harris? Yeah, I uh, just said, uh, you know. Well, no, you didn't finish your sentence, so she doesn't know. It's hard to be sure, sir. Hard to be sure. You know what we're doing here? Making people go to space? I said you can throw that in the trash. Excuse me? I said you can throw it away. All the work that she's done today? It's not an insult to your work. It's just obsolete. That's how fast things are moving around here. What? Because I don't need another smart girl with an adding machine. So what do you need? Oh, they waited on you. Well, y'all carpooled, so I guess they had to. Haven't complained. My work's on time. It's done right. It's done well. It's not fair. That's a fact. True. It's not fair. Ability of a supervisor, but not the title of the pay. I agree. Watching you two move on. Now, don't get me wrong. Any upward movement is movement for us all. But when's it your turn? I'll be back with the computers in the week. Or out of a job entirely. Oh, please. No, it was just your first day. You can do this. I sound like a supervisor, don't you? You do sound like a supervisor. But you're coming home with some good news that you got promoted. Space task group. Oh, my word. That sounds important. I know. It's not fair how Julia gets to sleep by herself because she's the oldest. Yeah, it's called seniority. Get over it. In Joylet's place, we'll also do the dishes, take out the trash, and do all of Joylet's chores. That's good for you. Good for you, Mama, for ending that argument real quick. I just wanted to say goodnight. You've been gone for 300 hours. And that's not an exaggeration. I have to be Mommy and Daddy. Oh, yep, this movie's gonna make me cry. Calling him right now. He's with the angels. Oh. This'll do it. Are the Russians fixing to attack us? What a question. Did you draw this? Yes, Mom. <laughs> Is that me? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, man. Oh, man. This movie's gonna get me today, ain't it? It's gonna. I feel it. Praise God! 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The good Lord has our very own women working on rocket ships. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Give a shout of praise for Colonel Jim Johnson. He looks familiar. He looks really familiar. I just don't understand. I just, I don't, I don't understand. Understand what? A female engineer with Negro, baby. Ain't no such thing. If she's smart enough to do it, then she can do it. There is more than one way to achieve something. Amen, girl. Kids need to eat their vegetables. You know that if you was ever home. Okay, I don't like him. That she wants this female's mind right here in front of everybody. Yes, girl. Civil rights ain't always civil. Ooh. That's true. That's true. I don't want any green peas. No lip little miss. Y'all both got your greens. Eat them. That Colonel Jim is a tall glass of water. Get into it, girl. Strong, commanding. Oh, and I bet he's like that day and night. Ooh, girl, it is the Lord's day. He, is, he looks so familiar. He's coming over. Ah! <laughs> and Mrs. Catherine Goble. She's not married. She's a widow. Oh, my God, Mary, too, too fast, too fast. Slice of pie. Excuse me. You already have a slice uh -huh. of pie, don't No, no, she needs to get some for your kids. Well, I was just uh, fixing my three babies some plates. Let me help you. Sure. Aww. He's gonna help her make her kids a plate? It's necessary to enable launch and landing for the space program. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty heady stuff. That's what I said. They let women handle that sort of... You need to watch yourself real quick, Mr. Man. If I were you, I'd quit talking right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was the first Negro female student at West Virginia University Graduate School. Yes, girl, tell them more. And we're proud to be doing our part for the country. Yes, you are, girl. Yes. And it's not because we wear skirts. It's because we wear glasses. Ooh. I like her. I like her a lot. Look at that old television camera. Wow, that much space? Well, and the fact that they're even separated. All right, number one. Number two, that much space? People were that ridiculous? How could you possibly be ogling these white men? I'm just equal rights. I have the right to see fine in every color. <laughs> Hilarious. You know, they can't build a damn refrigerator. How the heck they beat us into space? <laughs> I love him. I love him. Mary Jackson, Mr. Glenn. Engineering, and I'm proud as the devil to be working with you. Aw, that's cute. Okay, I think a lot of that Mr. John guy for not letting anything stand in his way. You know what I mean? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Now, why is it empty? Oh, because she hasn't made any. I cannot work on what I cannot see, Mr. Stafford. Clearance, clearance, clearance. Already been confirmed by two engineers in this department and myself. This is more or less a dummy check. What a dick thing to say. I couldn't read fast enough. Take it into your own hands, girl. Do the math that ain't there yet. I don't know what a IBM is. Is that like the first computer? Computer? In fact, use the, use the big hammer. Yes, sir. Just knock a wall down. You need to be working, not walking. Oh, it's, it's break time. What a bitch. It's called an IBM, a mainframe machine. Is that Chris, uh, Kristen Dunst? Is that, what's her name, Kirsten Dunst? Whatever, is that the first Spider-Man's girlfriend? She really be mathin'. But she's still gotta run all the way to another facility to use a colored restroom. It makes me wanna throw up. Whose work is that? You better not take it. Catherine Goble, sir. Woo! I really thought he was gonna take credit for that and I was going to be livid. You did the math. Yes, sir. I look beyond. I'm so scared. 
for what he's going to say about her. You held up to the light. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, she did. She's being honest. Were you a spy, Catherine? Am I what? What? A spy. No, sir. I'm not Russian. She's just a smart woman. I, I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Why? Because she's smarter than you? This interrogation's over. You can leave. They were more worried about how she found out about Atlas and the fact that she figured out the solution. That's what they were worried about. Somewhere down the line, a human being's gonna have to push the buttons. I mean, there's so many things I could say about technology nowadays, you know what I mean? Well, we now require advanced extension courses through the University of Virginia. It's in the employee handbook. Ah, uh, what? Every time we have a chance to get ahead, they move the finish line. That's good. Y'all should be thankful you have jobs at all. What? Why, because they're qualified? Because they're smart? What a bitch. Well, I'm not gonna sit here all day and listen to you complain about the way things are. We're trying to play cards. <laughs> <laughs> what you want, but quit talking about it. Stop talking about it and do it, girlfriend. I'm as fine as I have ever been. You're as drunk as you've ever been. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little girl's day. Sometimes you just need to get a little tipsy with your girlfriends and bake a little something and dance in the living room. I'm already scared for what's going to happen. That's so crazy. And to think my grandparents remember a time when like those were still around. It's so crazy to me. It's so crazy to me. Oh, I'm not here for any trouble, ma'am. What are you here for? A book. <laughs> it doesn't have what I'm looking for. Well, that's just the way it is. Well, that's just the way it is. Bless your heart. Go now, you know better than Get this. Get your hands off my boys. Don't touch them. They haven't done anything. Just cause it's the way doesn't make it right. Just cause it's the way doesn't make it right. You act right, you are right. That's for certain. Meanwhile, I bet that old white lady at the library looking for some Paula Dean cookbooks when she was out here probably looking for a math book to get our spaceship to the moon. And taxes pay for everything in that library. Yes. Take something already paid for. Yes, girl. I love that. Fortran is a new and exciting language. I don't know what Fortran is. Oh, <gasps> look who it is. Oh, look at them. Good thing we practiced that dancing the other day. Maybe while we dance. Oh, dance with it. Okay, I was going to say, she really not going to do it. She did it. Was this guy in Marvel? Is that where I know him from? I have an interest in getting to know you better. Oh. And any other woman like you. Though I don't imagine there's many. Oh, that's smooth. That's smooth. Gagarin completed one full orbit around the planet in 108 minutes. Okay, but he was just flying around out there doing a little orbit. He wasn't on the moon yet. All right, let's go. He is also confirmed. Let's learn how to fly to space. It's time to get some men in space. How in the hell did we find ourselves in second place in a two man race? Damn, good question. And two, don't expect your paychecks to reflect the extra time it's gonna take to catch up and pass those bastards. Damn it, it's just not fair. Of you who can't work that way, I understand, and thank you for what you've done. I suggest you call your wives, tell them how it's gonna be. What if you have kids? I guess it doesn't matter, does it? I could not imagine being one of them or married to one of them in that kind of job. How are you able to go home and be pleasant? If I had to do math all day, oh, I'd be a bitch. Is this footage? Is this real footage from then? Unrelated but kind of related, I really want to go in a zero gravity chamber. You know, that simulate. I know you just can't, like, go into one of those, but, like... If anybody watching this has a hookup for me to go float around in a zero gravity chamber, let a girl know. Is it gonna start? 
Are you gonna go get those classes? Take those classes? Hey buddy, I'd say updating your software systems would get better as time progresses. It doesn't. It doesn't. Good for you, girlfriend. If you learn what they don't know and you master it, you gotta be in charge then. The IBM 7090 data processing system. It has the capability of- Good for you, teaching. Oh, I love this. Mr. Z, I got a court date. Woo! Well, that's in the wrong spot. Look, you got it working. Where is she? Literally running to the bathroom. And now you got to run all the way back. To the bathroom, sir. To the bathroom. To the damn bathroom. Everybody uses the bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. So she got to run. And I work like a dog day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. I have goosebumps all over. This is such, oh my God. Good for you, girl. Good for you. You should have said a whole lot more if I'm honest with you, but you a classy lady. Good job. Good job, Mr. Man. Good job. Good job. No more colored restrooms. No more white restrooms. Just restrooms. Go wherever you damn well, please. Preferably closer to your desk. Preferably closer to your desk. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I really said he was going to be a dick of a boss. We all pee the same color. You are correct, sir. We do all pee the same color. I mean, he's still a dick boss, but like, personally, he's a good guy. So that's good. That's good. Finally, a white person in this movie with some common sense. I heard you was fighting the flu. Figured you could use some soup. Aww. That's sweet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fighting the flu is still got her blouse button all the way up to her neck. Oh, y'all holding hands. Of the USS Lake Champlain set out for this historic purpose. Is it cool to watch a rocket launch? I've never done it. Five, four. Come on now. Two. Could you imagine the adrenaline? I ain't even, I ain't even close to a rocket launch and my heart is racing. Off at 34 minutes after the hour. You're doing great, Mr. Rocket. Pitch 88, trajectory is good. I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Until we get the all clear, I'm gonna be freaking out. Switching manual roll. Yeah. Woo! And do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. So was that real video of JFK? Oh, okay. Snaps and NASA. I love that. Oh, they've been going for drives together and stuff. <gasps> they washing dishes together. Oh. I think it's high time I kissed you, guys. Ah! I love a man when he's direct. Figured you attracted to me, same as out of you. Do it again. Do it again, just to make sure. I haven't kissed a man in a long time. Almost forgot how to. It's like riding a bike girl to come back. Well, when we got off the bus in Birmingham... Everybody needs to see this. True. Everybody needs to see this. For this is not a struggle for ourselves alone. It is a struggle to save the soul of America. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Good morning, Your Honor. Oh, this isn't going to go well. I can just tell by the judge. It is regardless of what... Supreme Court says our law is the law. Oh my God. May I approach your bench, sir? Oh, oh, big, big ask. 
Okay, he's gonna let her. All right, pleasantly surprised by that. Well, you were the first in your family to serve in the armed forces. Oh, she did her research. You've done some research. That's what I just said, baby. It's unheard of. Yeah, unheard of. But there's gotta be a first. And I can't change the color of my skin. So I have no choice but to be the first. Oh my God. What? What an amazing statement. I have no choice but to be the first. Only the nine classes, Mrs. Jackson. Wow! I have goosebumps all over. I have goosebumps all over. Why are you not using your real name? You've proved yourself, I, I thought. And Catherine Goble, yes. I mean, your name should be first since you're typing it out, but all right, fine. Is there a problem? Mr. Harrison. Just go above his head. I think you and I talked about that, right? Doesn't exist. I can do it, sir. She literally put what was on the board. Give Glenn's orbit a go. Yes! Computers don't author reports. Wow, what a dick. That's so scary. Like landing in the ocean? Unfortunately, the Liberty Bell 7 capsule is lost. I mean, that sucks, but like we can make a new one, right? I mean, I guess the point is it costs millions and millions of dollars. It will always come with a risk. At least a human life wasn't lost. We'll get John Glenn home safely because we have to. Because he has to tell us what he saw. Yep. Earth's gravity keeps pulling at it, but it's going so fast, it keeps missing the Earth. That's how it stays in orbit. Oh. Hmm. So the capsule will spin around the Earth forever because there's nothing to slow it down? That's right. Oh, I see. So it needs to move from an elliptical orbit to a parabolic. I don't know what those words mean. We bring him in too soon. He burns up on re-entry. Oh, that's terrifying. We bring him in too late. He's pushed out of Earth's gravity. And dies in space? A Pentagon briefing should illuminate where the Navy needs the recovery zone. Then we work backwards from there. Oh, this is crazy. And when you asked for this assignment, so just calculate with what you have. That's is that your freaking catchphrase for Catherine? Calculate what you have, and that's why she had to look through the black ink. Haven't you learned to give her clearance? That a girl. You really got the thing working. Dorothy Bond, sir. Well, this is a very delicate piece of equipment. That she got up and running. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. When did this happen? Six minutes ago. The math is changing. Start over. Oh my God, there's so many things. Possible, there's no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for a man circling the earth either, sir. Oh, good on her, good on her. It looks like she's the only one trying new math. Add your name, add your name. You are not a computer, you are a human being. I have told you this. Computers don't author reports. Fix it. Those are my calculations. My name should be. Yes. And all of the information, as soon as it's available, I need to be in that room hearing what you hear. Pentagon yep. briefings are not for civilians. It requires the highest clearance. I feel she's not a civilian. Who makes the rules? You, sir. You are the boss. You just have to act like one. Yep. Yep. Safford, suck a dick. You keep quiet. But we get to go to the meeting. Her work is pertinent to today's proceedings. Mm-hmm. Come on. Want to get her a chair? Yes, she needs a chair at the table! We're orbiting the Earth at what speed now? Uh... Come on, Catherine, you know it. 17,544 miles per hour at the time the rocket delivers the capsule into low space orbit. Yep, there you go. Saved y'all some time since you got to flip through your papers. When exactly is that gonna happen? <laughs> well, I mean, now that we have a retrieval point, it could happen today. Catherine, have a go at it. 
In front of God and everybody? You got this. You got this. Ain't no numbers you can't. You can't handle. Give or take 20 square miles. I don't know anything about the math you just did, but I know you're smarter than me and I trust you. We're working on it. Catherine? Good job, Catherine. You're the IBM man, right? Yes, sir. Well, pull him out of the sky if you have to. Let's get ahead of this thing. I'm not paying you. Uh, he's not the IBM guy, by the way. He didn't even get it up and running. A after Glenn's launch, NASA's dissolving the computing group. Oh, no! I'm not accepting reassignment unless I bring my ladies with me. <sighs> That's a big request. Ladies! We've been reassigned. Yeah, you have! Yes, I love this scene. Yes, yes, yes. Going where no woman has gone before to get a man where no man has gone before. Look at that! Look at it! Where no woman has gone, where no black woman has gone, and they are all going today. Find the genius among those geniuses. Pull us all up. Well, he found one. Well, actually, he didn't find her, but. He ain't even gonna say bye. What a dick. You got something to say? Thought you might need these. Aw, he bought her new pins for classes. You put the new lead in and new pencil. This is really sweet. And nobody dare stand in the way. Not even her husband! Myself included. At least he knows. Well, the curriculum is not designed for teaching a woman. We got the same brain! I don't see a color section. Should I just take any seat? Sit in the front, girl. Yes. Ain't no sitting in the back. Maybe we've been thinking about this all wrong. How's that? Well, Paul, you've been wrong before, so shut up. Math is always dependable. Yeah, if you understand it. That's it. Good for you, Catherine. Let's type it up. Oh, wow. She had to figure out the scientific method, prove it to y'all that it would work, and now she has to type it up, too? What are you doing? Just standing there? No! And Catherine! And Catherine! Can you go back on a typewriter? I don't know. I've never used one. You working late today? Seems to always happen that way. Yes, seems to. Well, this is awkward. Small talk's not going well. That's not my decision, ma'am. That would be the supervisor. And you've already told her she can't be the supervisor. Despite what you may think, I have nothing against y'all. Y'all. I know you probably believe that. Oh, good reply! You probably believe that. I loved that reply. Aww. The whole table set. You all look so pretty. I know everybody's all dressed up for what reason? Good evening, Catherine. Ooh. Ooh. So you're not gonna say anything? It's not my place. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? A ring! He hasn't even asked you yet. I know, but he is. Oh, man. This is my mother's ring. Oh, wow, okay, that's nice. The day I met you, I called my mother. I said, Mom, I met the woman I want to marry. What? Oh. She's more than something. Oh. She's everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, then. That's fine. But I know marrying you. Includes man and your girls as well. Amen to that. Oh, and the mama's there, and it's just so much. Okay. <laughs> well, that's so special. <laughs> in fact, our IBM is churning out numbers in fractions of the time any human can. Yeah, yep. I see. So we won't be running backups here. Is she getting fired? Long story short, we no longer need a 
computer in this department. Whoa! Let's have you report back to the West Group for now. I'll see if we can find another assignment. Well, the West Group's working on the IBM. Oh no. I hope this doesn't cause friction between her and Dorothy. Okay, you don't need another computer, but like, what are all the men's titles? How are hers one of those? We heard you got engaged. Yes. It's thoughtful of you. On the day she got fired, thanks. Appreciate it. A pearl necklace. Don't be dirty. That's so special. Special in like a backhanded shitty kind of way. I don't think I felt a thing the first time I did this. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Just a little older. <laughs> <gasps> the shade. Paul, something's off here. These landing coordinates don't match yesterday's. Oh, well that doesn't feel good. Now I'm stressed again and Catherine's not there to fix everything. Let's get the girl to check the numbers. That, yes, John. All right, we'll get into it. Roger. You better call Catherine right now. Go find Catherine Goble. It's her wedding day! My dumb ass sitting here like, go find her! She's getting married! Now, I know this is based on a true story, right? Is this, is this part of the true story or is this for just dramatics? It's Catherine Johnson now. They need you to verify these coordinates. Oh, it's not her wedding day. I was stressed for no reason. I have anxiety, just an obscene amount of anxiety. What the devil are you doing? Are you taking a break? She breathing. Oh my goodness, kick off your heels and go girl. You can't keep up with them shoes. NASA transfer van for, for an astronaut? Gotta be in that kind of truck? Y'all would think we would move faster. Girl, go in there. She should have went in there it is her numbers her solution and she should be in there oh she's wearing her pearls Catherine did manage to calculate a few decimal points further than that hunk of metal yes she did i'm telling you i feel like i have gone through chunks of this movie not saying anything because i i have second hand anxiety from all this That's so crazy. Oh, that view is tremendous. Roger that, Friendship 7. What would that be like? What would that be like? I could use a coffee. Oh, I could use a hit. <sighs> You're quite welcome. Mrs. Bond. <gasps> it's her first time being like proper with her and not just calling her Dorothy. Cause now they're on the same, well they all like now professionally they're on the same level because she's supervisor and now Dorothy's supervisor. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, well that reeking, that, that reeking. Red blinking light's not good. Heard any banging noises or anything of this type in higher rates? That is a negative, Capcom. So maybe the light's just faulty? Is there a reason for this? Over. Stand by, seven. Well, just the whole point of your whole spaceship staying intact, that's important. I guess it's important to keep him calm, just as it's important to keep everybody on the ground calm. Okay, at this point, why don't we skip like the predestined recovery point and as long as we know where he's gonna land and he lands safely, isn't that okay? Oh my God, what a way to die. What a way to die. Well, well, show me something. Friendship seven, do you copy, over? Come on now. If he didn't re-enter, where would he be? Just blown to bits? Loud and clear, Capcom. Jesus Christ! I've always wanted to swim in the Bahamas. Over. <laughs> it's now the time for jokes, Mr. Funny Man. You almost died. Down and is being recovered. <laughs> I was so stressed, I got goosebumps right now. Nice work. Right. And again, he's the only one to acknowledge her hard work. You think we can get to the moon? We're already there, sir. 
Uh, that was a callback to him saying earlier when she first got hired in his uh, section that like he's already on the moon, you know? Thinking ahead and stuff. That's nice. John Glenn successfully completed three of a scheduled seven orbit flight. Wow! His Friendship 7 mission turned the tide in the space race propelling NASA to the moon in 1969. Mary Jackson became NASA's and America's first female African-American aeronautical engineer. In 79, she was appointed Langley's Women's Program Manager, where she... Well, damn it! I read too slow! Dorothy became NASA's first African-American supervisor! As a Fortran specialist of the Frontier Astronomic Computer, she was regarded as one of the most brilliant minds at NASA. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Shut up, everybody. She's back with him. Oh, and he brought her coffee. Catherine went on to perform calculations for Apollo 2 mission to the moon and the space shuttle. In 2016, NASA dedicated Catherine G. Johnson's comp something building in honor of her groundbreaking work in space travel. I do not read fast, and the fact that I'm being timed right now has me reading even worse. At the age of 97, Catherine was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom and celebrated her 56th anniversary. <laughs> That's really special. Oh, wow. Wow. That's so amazing. I just need to see their names. I can't remember. Other than Viola Davis, I can't remember. I don't know the other ones, I don't think. Are these real pictures of them throughout the years? Or like stuff? Oh, wow. Octavia Spencer. Maybe that's why I'm getting confused for Viola Davis. It's gotta be, because Viola Davis was not in this. Kevin Costner. Kristen Dunst! I've not recognized her! Okay, let's talk about it. <clears throat> so I did a Google, and it turns out, um, well, I mean, I already knew I was wrong about Viola Davis, but it does make sense that I thought of her because I, Hubbard and I have been watching How to Get Away with Murder. And she is literally the main character. So, Octavia Spencer. Anyways, wow. 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 What an amazing film. What an amazing group of women. Like, it's so, it is so... It is still so amazing to me. You know, I said during Remember the Titans that, like, it, it didn't make sense. And it's in, like, in the grand scheme of time, like, this part of history is not that far removed, obviously. Um, it's easy. It can, it can be easy to forget how recent these changes have been. Civil rights and everything. In a movie like this, it is just absolutely egregious to me to think that Catherine had the numbers, proved her work. Like, I'm not even talking about like being a black woman or a woman, like, that's what's so crazy to me. It's like, what? She had her work and proved the work and you can't fake math, you know? I mean, you can, but not when you're surrounded by other scientists who are gonna prove your work. Like, just because she was a woman, just because she was black and just because she was a black woman. Also, I don't know if that's recording the thumbs up that I'm doing here. I hate that. Hate that feature. Got to figure out what the fuck that's about if that's recorded in this outro. But anyways, like, like how can the people sitting in those rooms when she went to get coffee and then they made her a little kettle that said colored. What? What? And the fact that I didn't know about any of these women in high school. Any of them. None of them. That's crazy. And the fact that, um... Well, shit, now I, don't, I can't remember her name. There was Dorothy, there was Catherine. Anyways, the one that went to night school, the lady who went to night school... Good for her. 
doing her research on the judge and proving that there has to be a first. If there's never a first, then there never will be. And she needed to be the first. Shitty that he sent her to night school because of the color of her skin. But look at her. She showed up. She was there. Wow. Just what an incredibly powerful story of three incredibly smart, driven women. This, this was an incredible film. And if it weren't for this movie, I don't know if I've ever would have heard of these women. You know, sure, you can argue today that, you know, Google, Google, Google fine, okay, but why aren't these names ones that I am learning in school or learned in, learned? Why ain't these the names I've done learned in the school and house? You know, like, why? This is important stuff. This is important stuff. And these were women, these were black women, when they were not equal, and they were mothers. They were still women at the end of the day, still expected to take care of their children and, and, and have a home. You know what I mean? Like, wow, crazy. And, and just an incredible movie that I think everybody should have to see. I think if you if you can watch this movie and not leave inspired. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy. This was a great movie. This was a great movie. I would want everyone to watch it. Five out of five stars for Hidden Figures. This was a great film. Wow. Great film. <clears throat> five out of five stars. I would watch it again. I would watch it again tomorrow, and I would watch it again with every single person that I know. I would recommend it to them, and I would force them to sit on and watch it. That's what I would do. <laughs> That's how much I love this movie. Um, <clears throat> whew. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. Coming up, I don't really know what's coming up in March movie-wise. On Wednesdays, though, for our TV series, we are continuing on with Firefly. And yes, 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 to answer your question, I will be wrapping up the series with the film, Serenity, so I can get all those answers that you keep telling me that I'll need. I don't know. Anyways, that's what I got coming up for you, at least. And, of course, if you want to vote on any movies on TV shows, or video games that I play on Twitch. The link to Patreon is down below, as well as all my links to social media if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you right back here on Wednesday. Bye.